What's up guys? So yesterday we took a look at the Galaxy S10e and I wanted to go ahead and take a look at the S10. Um, I still really love these Galaxy S10 series phones even though they're not getting any more software support unfortunately. And I just really like these phones as if you're not going to use it as a main phone because I know these older flagships are still extremely popular overseas. But if you're not going to use it for a main phone I still really love these phones as a backup phone as well too. Uh, mostly because they're extremely low investment. I mean, you can buy one on eBay, Amazon, like 150 bucks, if not cheaper. And like I said, very low investment. And you'd be actually surprised at the quality that this phone still has. So one of my favorite things about the S10 is the Snapdragon 855, guys. It's still an excellent chipset here. We're able to play you know, Call of Duty Mobile at high settings, PUBG. I dropped the whole gaming test for this phone actually, and it's still very, very impressive, guys. So this phone has the Snapdragon 855 on here. You also have six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage on the base model. And what's very cool about these older flagship phones is that you do have SD card support um, on here as well too. And it's just very fast phone. I mean, you can't really find phones like a budget phone or even a, it beats a lot of mid-range phones as well too when it comes to the performance it's still buttery smooth it got its last major OS update with Android 12 when you are 4.1 and it's still just really really fast and smooth guys uh, to this day that's why I always you know love recommending these older phones because you just very efficient uh, performance here so the screen on the S10 is still pretty good Samsung introduced the punch hole with the S10 series I believe and it still looks pretty modern still pretty good yeah the punch hole is a little bit uh, bigger than you know the modern day punch holes but still a very nice screen and Samsung makes such great displays that their screens even in the Note 9 Note 8 they're still really really great uh, screens so this has the dynamic AMOLED display it's actually a 1440p display it's a very high resolution screen very high PPI um, as well I think it has 550 PPI and it's just very impressive guys as far as the quality of this panel here really really sharp the icons all look good it is a curved display as you guys can see there which I know a lot of people have their opinions about it's a curved display but I think it still looks really really good guys it is a um, 6.1 inch display as well too which I think and one of my favorite things about this phone in particular is that it's very easy to hold. Um, it's a 6.1 inch display, so you can kind of, it's not like the S10e, but if you have smaller hands, you can kind of one hand this phone a little bit easier. It's not as, um, you know, it's not as difficult to hold, and it's actually pretty light um, as well, too. Now, I do want to go ahead and talk about the hardware a little bit because what's cool about the S10 series is that this was before Samsung started really taking stuff out, and this phone has the headphone jack on here as well, too. And it also, again, has micro SD card support. The design still looks fairly good. I'm not a huge fan of this color because uh, it picks up so many fingerprints. But if you get a lighter color, um, I really like those, like the, the light blue color they have. Um, but yeah, it's still a very nice looking phone, in my opinion. Um, it's an IP68 dust and water resistant glass and metal. It still has that premium feel uh, to it. Now, this will surprise a lot of people that... This phone still has basically all the same flagship features that you would find in newer phones. Under the display, fingerprint sensor very fast, you have face unlock, and then you also have on here basically all the same uh, software features as far as reverse wireless charging, uh, secured folders, you have Samsung desktop support on here as well too, it's got NFC. Still basically has everything that you would have in like a S23 Ultra uh, besides the S Pen support. Um, so it's not doesn't feel dated at all. So anybody who has an S10 will tell you there's really nothing dated about this phone. It still feels like a modern flagship, which is pretty interesting because the phone was released in like what 2019. So just pretty impressive. Really good quality from the top speaker. Now 
Now like with all older flagship phones, you will start to see the camera age a little bit. Now the cameras on here still look pretty good. It's got a triple camera setup. It's a 12 megapixel standard, a 12 megapixel telephoto. It has a 2x optical zoom and then a 16 megapixel ultra wide. It also shoots in 4K 60 with a 10 megapixel selfie cam that also shoots in 4K 60. Um, so what I like about the S10 is like with all these older flagship phones, they still do a excellent job in outdoor photography. If you're in some good light, you get excellent photos. I did a comparison uh, with the newer phones, the S22 and the S23, and this phone did an awesome job still. So it, as you can see from the photos, it's still going to give you some nice punchy colors, pretty good detail. In general, going to take a great shot. But again, like with all older flagship phones, you start to see the age of the phone if you're in a low light scenario. Pictures can be a little soft, a little grainy. Um, but other than that, you're still getting great photo quality, great video quality. Now surprisingly, the S10 still has pretty good battery life. I've actually never had this phone die on me, uh, surprisingly, because it is kind of you know a smaller phone, but I've never had it die on me. It gets better battery life than the S10e, so it gets close to around six hours of screen on time actually. So I think it's pretty decent when it comes to battery. It doesn't have the biggest battery. It's got a 3400 milliamp hour battery. You also have 15 watt charging and wireless charging. Like I said, it's got that reverse wireless charging. But I've never had this phone actually die on me. It's gotten close, but never actually died. So I think the battery life is still pretty decent on this particular device. So I really like the S10, guys. Um, I think it's aged pretty well. Kind of sad that it's not getting any more updates. But I still really like this phone as just a backup phone. You can honestly use it as a main phone. You just have to know that you're not getting security patches or any major OS updates. So be sure to let me know what do you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one.